they wouldn't give for some proper wine. Skyhold Steward is a sadistic little man who is trying to kill us. Perhaps he found a bargain he couldn't pass up on vats of vinegar. <laughs> it could be worse, darling. It could be an Anders vintage. Egad, we'd be forced to retaliate. Into the Fade, Dorian, as did your Tavinta forebears. With somewhat less cataclysmic results. No observations beyond that. Only that I'm pleased we got out. Demons don't appreciate a man with good hair. Wait. You're jealous, aren't you? Don't be absurd. Corypheus, Dorian. Darkspawn? Madman? Relic of an unwanted past? Don't keep me in suspense. They will say he is Tavinta. No. I'm aware you claim to be here to counter that, but the damage is done. Uh, I'm not here on behalf of my nation's reputation, Vivian. I'm here to do what is right. If only more of your countrymen felt as you do. Are you saying you wouldn't rather live in a land where mages aren't herded into cages like dogs? Which land is that? The one where mages are feared and despised as tyrants? I'm the first to admit magisters aren't perfect. But they've also done great things. They're allowed to. Monstrous things as well. Or you wouldn't be here, would you? Locking people into cages isn't the answer. Naturally. First we execute those who will not submit, then we deal with the rest. <laughs> it's rather amusing, Dorian. Your outfit's entertaining, I'll give you that. The way you sneer at southerners, pretending to be a shark from a land of sharks. But you are not a shark, and never will be, darling. They knew it, just as you do. I could have pretended. Wore fancy clothes, convinced everyone I'm something I'm not. Then I could take a position at court, whore myself out, and desperately hope no one realizes what a fraud I am. Such snapping for a fish without teeth. You should put on a show. Charge for admission. I know. I'm taking notes. My dear Inquisitor, whatever is the issue? We're having a perfectly civil conversation. It's true. I've heard worse from our gardener back home. Oh, Empress Selene, Vivian. As well as anyone could know a woman who lived in a gilded cage of intrigue and responsibility. Are you sad she died? The game inevitably turns against anyone who plays it, my dear. I mourn the loss of a fine player who lived for duty, but her time had come, and the Empire moves on. Dwelling on the matter serves no purpose. There is, after all, much to look forward to. When you were at the Winter Palace, did you meet Selene's handmaidens? Not the ones that finish each other's sentences? Yes, I did. They were asking me about you. Personal things. Uh, how personal? Something about your chest hair, and whether you were currently involved with anyone. Huh. Creepy. Have you ever met the Black Divine? I saw him once at a ball, but we never met. He had to leave early, on account of assassination. Someone tried to kill him? Kill him? No, no. He killed a magister. Could have waited until the dancing was finished. Perhaps you can answer this. Why the bizarre Orlesian fixation with masks? It's part of the game, my dear. You never see your opponent's true visage. A strange custom in a culture where people assassinate each other for putting too much salt in the soup. An additional challenge to be navigated. Fail at the game and you die. And you people call Tevinter barbaric. You are barbarians, darling. But that's part of your charm. Does anybody else smell that? Seriously, just me? You must have crossed paths with Lady Morrigan in the court, yes? There is no need to use that title, my dear. She is an ill-bred apostate, nothing more. Odd. I'd have thought you'd easily relate to a commoner of ambition. You thought incorrectly. It's outrageous that she's been forced on the Inquisition. I welcomed her among us, Vivienne. As did Celine. Yet the only one I've seen benefit is Morrigan herself. You weren't part of the rebellion with the rest of the Southern Mages? Those of us outside of the circles could not be compelled to revolt. Ah, nothing like solidarity. 
This from a man who hails from a nation where mages kill each other for sport. <laughs>